Hi, good morning and happy Thanksgiving week. I'm so excited to bring you an update this week. It's week eight and we did a lot of work around here last week and so and we had a little bit of um, kind of changes with the salad garden bed but mostly um, we just did a lot of work and that's part of gardening is sometimes you gotta put in some work so you get more stuff coming in and this week um, for Thanksgiving week I hope that um, you have the best week and I want you to know that we're so grateful and thankful for all of you that have tuned in every week or when you've got time to check out our videos and we're just so excited to be making fun stuff for you to watch and this week um, for Thanksgiving week it's gonna be gar all garden all week long um, and that's going to give me a chance to focus on getting my dinner going and focus on spending time with my family and do work around here like always so every single day this week is going to be um, a project that we did in the garden so uh, today we're going to get to watch me make that soil mix and then on Wednesday, I'm pretty sure is the day that you're going to get to see um, the modifications that we did to the pool, the little kitty pool that I'm going to do the composting in. And then on Thursday, you get to see me watch, uh, watch me build that pile. And on Friday, you'll get to see me plant some more seeds. So I, again, I hope your entire family is just blessed with a lot of good love and a lot of good eating on this Thanksgiving week and thank you so much for checking in with us and just have the best week ever and we'll catch back up with you next week on our regular schedule. So this is the peat moss and they just got it opened up and usually and maybe we'll get down to it but usually it's like a hard brick and so we kind of have to hack at it and hack at it because it really kind of blossoms into a lot. Um, so I just wanted to show you that and uh, to make our parts equal we're just gonna five gallon bucket everything so the first thing we start with usually is this because it requires so much work in terms of breaking it down so this is exciting to see it all loose and fluffy and um, so we'll catch up with you in a minute when we start mixing the compost okay now we're gonna take so we've got this set up here is where we're gonna mix up these three bags of compost and this is gonna be where we actually do our soil mixing uh, but we need to have kind of equal amounts going in there so that's where we're gonna start over here Okay, so real quick, we're gonna show you, we just dumped all three bags here and my husband and I are gonna show you how we use this tarp to mix this all up together instead of like having a wheelbarrow. So this is something that you could do even if you had an apartment, you know, you could just go downstairs, lay your tarps out, dump your bags, mix it up, and then bag it back up into the bags that it came from. I'm going to dump out our first bucket here because this is our measuring cup, okay? So this is basically our one cup of the peat moss. And now we're going to get one cup of the compost to put in here. And the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to get that garden soil by Grow Well I told you about and we're going to add some of that. So just focus on the
Do you want me to dump it in there, Big? Yeah. And this is the um, Garden Time, and it's made by Grow Well, who also makes, I'm pretty sure, makes the Bioflora and um, the uh, something else I have over there. Oh, the Mushroom Compost. That's where that comes from, too. So I'm just going to be making a little bit of soil today. This is going to end up making me about three five gallon buckets and I'm going to use the rest of this. Some of it, I won't use it all today, but this is food now, okay, because I don't use any type of fertilizers. I don't use anything to enhance the growth. Um, so this was an investment today. I think I spent about probably $45, but this is the food that will feed my garden and so over here where we took out the okra i'm going to be using this to go over and top all of that so i'm not going to turn that soil over i just even cut them off at their base and um, i'm just going to let them decompose in the bed and i'm going to top everything out with this and i'm going to go around and hand feed all around all my plants everywhere with this moist awesome compost blend that again is you know, compost, mushroom compost, and earthworm castings. And there's our finished product. So, the, see, the reason why I wasn't so big on getting the vermiculite is because that garden time soil has got quite a bit in it. And the, cor and the, the peat moss is going to give me a lot of aeration. So I just don't see that I haven't bought or added vermiculite in some time and I have excellent drainage so I'm not regretting that. All right well I've got some buckets to get filled up and I gotta feed my plants so I'm so glad that we got to spend some time together and um, there's not a lot going on. I'm gonna get you a little bit of footage of the salad garden because that's the thing that is really thriving right now but otherwise most of this video is gonna be dedicated to work because it's not always just watching the stuff grow. Okay, so I'm going to give you just a mini tour, like I said, because otherwise this is a working video. But I wanted you to see that I got everything thinned out in these carrots. And over here, this is just our gym right now. Um, we've got so many nice garlic plants coming up. There's a little baby coming up right there, and there's a baby coming up over there. But I'm so pleased right now with this little experiment that we've had going on and I'm gonna start cutting lettuce this week if I um, will definitely have some of this green leaf lettuce for salads and um, taco Tuesday but that's my gym right now so next week we'll give you a full tour and you can see all the new things that I've got going on